This is a review of Apple's new 27-inch quad-core iMac. As you can see, it's a huge display. For us, it's replacing our old 17-inch swivel neck. Pretty substantial upgrade. This computer, I absolutely love. I've been able to spend quite some time with it. But, it does have a couple letdowns. So I'll get into some of the really cool features I like, and I'll explain some of the complaints I have. So I thought I'd film a little high-definition demo to show you just how amazing deep, rich colors are and how much textures really show off with this display. Normal high-def TV has 1,080 lines of vertical resolution. This TV has 1,440 lines. So as you can see, the definition is incredible. All right, let's talk inputs. Here's an image of the back of the iMac. You got audio input output, four USBs, FireWire 800. There's no FireWire 400. I don't get it. I have hard drives. We even use the old iPods from time to time. I can no longer use these with this computer. That bums me out. The video input output, and then the Ethernet, of course. You know, a top of line stereo, I expect all the inputs. A top of line iMac, I kind of expect all the inputs too, but not a deal breaker. Probably the second most impressive thing to this iMac, other than the big display, of course, is this new wireless mouse and keyboard. Apple has actually made the most intuitive mouse I've ever experienced. Works like a normal mouse. It has a right click and a left click. As you drag your finger across the top here, it actually scrolls through websites or photographs. You can actually do two finger swipes to go through pages or to go through albums in iTunes. The keyboard, though, I need a little more function. I miss the number keys over here. I miss the enter key. I find myself typing and going for the enter key and I hit shift. So it looks cool. It's got a power button, stores the batteries here, a lot of form. I just wish I had a little more function. So you're probably looking at this new iMac for one of two reasons. Either you love top of line items, this is definitely the top of line iMac, or you need all that extra processing power. The Apple site does all the benchmarking for you. So if you want to look at the numbers, I actually spent a whole lot of time editing high def content. I actually did a review for the new MacBook. And I gotta tell you, working on this computer was a breeze compared to working on my MacBook Pro. Now of course you're gonna buy this quad core iMac for the processing power and the big display. But, it's running Snow Leopard, it has a couple cool new features, it's a Mac so it has some great apps, and I was gonna show you, you know, one or two other little things that I personally like that maybe a Mac's had for a while. Here's one of my favorite little things. You can actually preview a movie in the thumbnail state. It's actually playing in there. And if you actually open it, there's a new cleaner QuickTime display. Here's one of mine and my kids' favorite applications that come on a Mac. Photo booth. Just go ahead and hit the camera button and it takes four pictures. and creates a fun little collage. Here's a really great feature you can use for work or play. Of course, iChat lets you instant message. You can use the iSight camera and video conference up to three different people. But now you can actually do screen sharing. So for my laptop, I sent an invite to this computer. Once you accept it, it actually takes over the other laptop. So I can go into the other computer and make some changes. I personally don't like it red. I think it ought to be purple. Okay, one more feature, not exactly super new, but Time Machine. So you can see my external hard drives. It actually designated one as the Time Machine hard drive. And as you watch what happens with Time Machine, it actually backs up your data, your pictures, your music, and actually your documents throughout the course of time in case you might have accidentally gotten rid of something or lost something. So, you're looking for a high-powered Mac. You don't feel like investing in a tower and a monitor and a MacBook Pro is just not going to cut it for processor power. Well, this is your choice. This video that you're watching now, I edited on this thing and having done a couple already on it, it is a breeze. I highly recommend this iMac.